Hey everybody, I'm Aaron. And I'm AJ. What are we doing today? Well, basically we're going to kind of start a little series on what Milsim paintball is. Because yeah. uh, there isn't really that many products out to review to you know just do a field test of. We're just going to do this to kind of give people who want to start playing that sort of style of paintball mm -hmm. just a general idea um, of what we'll talk about. And then uh, later on we'll do different videos more concentrated on that one aspect saying like what type of gear to wear for the style of play you want you know, like be pretty much like why would you use molly and we'll explain what molly is yep. and the benefits to it you know wh why would you use that stuff like that yeah um even just the different types of paint really there are big there are two big major styles of paint uh normal paint balls which are just little circles and then first strike. I don't know if you can see this or not, which actually has you know fins and everything. Close up. Yes. Yeah. So we'll talk about the different types. Yep. The Why? benefits of using either or, right? Um, and then basically, we're uh, mag fed markers versus hopper fed. So this is a magazine fed marker. And. Things like why would we use them? Why why would you use this versus a mag or a hopper fed? What's the benefits? You know, little things like that. And all of these will be separate videos. Um, we'll again delve into different aspects of uh, different techniques you want to use on the field uh, when playing mag fed, or uh, or even with the team, right? Say you have a group of guys you're really familiar with. What you can you what you can do in a team. To utilize the field almost like uh, different roles yeah. so if you're using a pistol you can use it for a certain reason right you, you want to be quick or something on the field mm -hmm. rifles a different reason snipe rifles a different reason again or if you're running box mag and you have the ability to go full auto right like you're obviously support yeah and those things are, like that. yeah little things like that and then we'll even get to the very basics that aren't even necessarily milsim like what kind of masks what kind of tanks yeah like hpa versus co2 why air systems yeah uh, even the most basic to the most experienced elitist Milsim is going to want to have a little bit of this information. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's basically what it is. This is basically just an overview video of what we'll talk about in the future. So yeah. stay, stay tuned. Yeah. It's going to be fun. And if you guys want to know uh, certain things about different aspects, leave us a comment for this video and uh, we'll try to include it in the videos yeah. we do in the future. And, yeah, and we'll also be uh, accepting comments on the YouTube video, but also if you join our Facebook channel, it'll be be on there as well. Mm -hmm. So this will be an ongoing thing as long as you guys keep posting up questions. We'll always have something to talk about yeah. on videos, and it's going to be very factual and very helpful for everybody that's looking to get into or want to expand their knowledge on Nilsson. Yes. So that's about it. Um, yeah, that's about it. I think so. Thanks a lot, guys. Remember to subscribe if you want to watch these videos. You know, you can see the updates yep. quickly. We usually don't ask you to subscribe or anything because it's not our thing. But if you want to get the videos updated, that's how I do it. That's about it. That's about it. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay tuned.